Fox Footy wishes to advise that tonight's episode of Up the Guts is rated M for mature audiences. It may contain sexual references, adult themes, and the occasional f and sh. Over to you, Moon Man. Thank you very much, Lockie. Uh, welcome to Up the Guts. On tonight's show, shock news. Collingwood President Eddie Maguire given the arse. <laughs> More trouble for the Liberal Party last night at the G. Scott Morrison had a crack at Josh Frydenberg and then it really kicked off. It just went bananas. <laughs> and we'll be taking a very comprehensive look at the NRL preseason. <laughs> this is Up the Guard! Guts. I'm Lawrence Mooney. What a delightful mix of drunks, derelicts and confused backpackers <laughs> we have here tonight. I don't know why they're operating the cameras, but they're doing a pretty good job. <laughs> Joining me is AFL legend and Fox footy commentator, Jonathan Brown. Nice to be here. Very nice honoured to... Very honoured to be the first guest of this... Uh... Is it going to be a long-running program? Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> Let's make it through the first half hour and see where we go from there. <laughs> You'll be right. And our resident footy fanatic and AFL aficionado, a man known to your good self, yes. Dino. Hey! 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 Lawrence, Lawrence. Give us, give us, give us hey, I can't, I can't shake your hand enough. You're beautiful, man. Love him. Number 16 nice on the jumper, number one in our hearts, Steve. Now, yeah. Can you hear things or can you speak? Because you've lost the mic pack. Your plugs come out. I don't need it, do I? No, you don't. You've do got I a good, it, strong, it, gravelly voice. How good is hear. it? How good is it to be? How, how good's young Dino? Now, a lot of people wouldn't know him. Obviously, Lawrence Moon, you are a uh, very well known comedian around I am. Australia. A uh, man about town and a, uh, no, a bon no, vivant. Of no course. Uh... <laughs> but Dino, of course, he panels your show in the morning on Nova in Melbourne. He does. He yeah. does. It's, it's quite amazing that he. Uh, when we got introduced to Dino to be our anchor, um, four years ago it was now, mm. um, Chrissy Swan got introduced, and as mm. you know, you know, Australia's sweetheart, uh, Sam Pang, the national brand. Australia's sweetheart. Australia's sweetheart <laughs> as well. Sweetheart. And uh, this guy called Dean Thomas gets introduced, and he looked like he just slept under a bridge the night before. <laughs> uh, so I cannot believe that he survived four years and done an amazing job. He's yeah. come a long way since he was the chief day maker at the Querreting Dominoes back in Perth. Querreting Chief. Dominoes. And chief that's Dominoes. all we've got to Time for <laughs> on the guts. Thanks, Brownie. That was a, that was an excellent anecdote. Dino, were you at the footy last night? Of course, I was at the football last I night. I thought I spotted you at the footy last night. <laughs> what? We're, we're going to promote the show, Lawrence. And if we go back to that footage and just enhance, right? Enhance. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're promoting it. If we can just have a look at that picture again. Uh, there's a, a young lad there. He is, he is scarred by that. I hope he doesn't end up. I hope he doesn't end up addicted to crack, Brown. No. <laughs> because look, I didn't realise how much of it was at the footy, but apparently everyone's carrying. Um, <laughs> everybody. Now let's have a look at tonight's game. A real close mm, one. Yeah. The Cats finally get up. In the dying moments, really. Yeah, it was obviously Collingwood favourites going to the game. It was a very scrappy game, so. Don't bother watching the first three quarters, uh, Loz, but uh, last quarter is very exciting. You see Gavin Brown's son there, Cal Brown, kicks the goal, but uh, went forward late, and uh, Dangerfield had a shot to uh, seal the game. He kicked the point, but this was enough by Brandon Parford to get him over the line. Good win by the Cats, Loz. Yeah, and uh, Tomahawk did very well too, yeah. and celebrated by rocking the baby. Rocking the baby. Kicked his 500th goal as well, Tommy, and he had a baby yesterday. Little Primrose. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, of course. And uh, she'll be nicknamed Mimi, but uh, what, a, what an exciting time for uh, for them. And Gary Abbott, the little master, was fantastic Oof. as well. Yeah, he just doesn't age, does he? OK, we are going to have a cross right to the rooms now and find out what's going on down there with Brad Johnson and Cam Mooney. G'day, guys. G'day, Lawrence. Hello, with the Mooney. real moon man. Don't worry about that. Oh, oh, a lot of imitators. No, don't think that's right. Oh. 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 
Hey, that was Jono's joke. Lawrence, not mine. I didn't <laughs> no, want to do it. it. Yeah, Moons Jono. led me into that. Don't worry, don't worry, Lawrence. So, Moons wants to get in amongst everyone here because he has loved this moment. What a passionate win by the Catters. The, the energy is still massive in the rooms, Moons. Well, it's funny, Brownie. You know when you've retired now, we've all retired, we've been out of the game a long time, you go, I don't miss it whatsoever. This is the actual time that you do miss it as a player. When you're in the rooms, they've won, everyone's up and about. Got all the supporters loving you, slapping you on the back. Because next week when you lose, they don't turn up, they hate you. <laughs> so it's always nice at this time, isn't it, Jono? It is. It's great. Moons, we, we actually don't know what we, you need us to do here, Lawrence. Do you want us to get an interview? Why, why are we what, here? What are we doing? I, I don't know. Well, they just said cross the rooms. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I did. I didn't have anything from my head. I'm not saying to you guys. Thank you. Uh, that was good, wasn't it? <laughs> Thanks, Moons. Thanks, Brownie. I mean, John, 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 Crossing the room. Mate, it's so boring. I don't know what uh, Moons is talking about missing out because, yeah. yeah, you just want to go and have a few beers. In those rooms, the most boring place I mean, in they the world. Give us have a... another Gatorade, they say. Yeah, that's right. Give us a ball of tape. Give us some ice. Give us something. Steal something. We'll put it on yeah. eBay. Help us out. <laughs> Dress up in footy gear. Anyway, it's time now to give our votes for Mr. Friday Night. Mr. Friday Night. This is the uh, season award for the most entertaining player here on Up The Guts. So... If you're a Gold Coast player, or if you play for Freo or the Saints, tough. Uh, you're never going to play on Friday night because nobody wants to see you. Okay? Now, Dino, who yeah, gets yeah. the votes for Mr Friday Night tonight? One vote, gentlemen, is the most composed person at the MCG tonight. This baby. Have a look. Oh, oh look at lovely. that. It's One like Tom vote. Morgan's his kid, is it? Now, uh, no, no, we'll get there. You're right. Two votes. To the Collingwood cheer squad, because we know what happened in the grand final where they ballsed up the back. Yeah. It was traumatic for them. Mm. Tonight, they've nailed it. But just to be sure... We've stated the footage. We've found our mistake. Redemption starts now with twice as much... Oh, well done. Hey. Not a rhyming couplet, though, is it? No, no. And Joffre obviously didn't spell that. They got it right. <laughs> but tonight... Mr Friday Night. Mr Friday Night. Can't wait. Tomahawk with the baby yeah, celebration. Beautiful. Look at this. It's adorable for crying out loud. Yeah. And then, as his night, his 500th goal. Look at this. Bang! No rocking there. Did he try and pick one of them up and like, oh, you're too big to be a baby. <laughs> Mr. Friday Night is Tomahawk, ladies and gentlemen. It's our first night of Mr. Friday Night, but let's have a look at the live leaderboard, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tommy Hawkins is leading. Tommy Hawkins is right up there. Jeez, that is sensational yeah, well, what a stuff. Start. It is. Uh, it's time for our first break on Up the Guts, but let's hear the Geelong song, and we'll be back with more guts after this. <laughs> Episode of AFL 360. I'm Jared Waitley. He's Mark Robinson. Billy. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan sets it into the pocket. Two on one. The Eagles are the numbers. She marks. Did he play on? The pie says no. Go back and take your shot. Ryan plays on. Kicks to the pocket. She back with That's a fight. That's a shepherd. Absolute He's shepherd. been paid, Sellers. Last roll of the dice for the West Coast Eagles. It goes to... Oh, Tom Sheen! <laughs> me! That's <laughs> outrageous. He played on. He played on. Have a look at this. Stop making excuses, Maynard. You... <laughs> Tom Sheen outside the boundary. Right forward pocket. Can he do it? He steers at a goal. Preferred left. Oh, no. Drop punt kick. He kicked the impossible goal. West Coast have missed the last five sitters here. Sheen with a tough one and. from F-Bomb 
AFM. Let's check in with all your AFL news with Natalie Yanidis. Good evening, Natalie. We start with Hawthorne and they say that gun recruits Chad Wingard and Tom Scully are set to play in the next fortnight. Scully hasn't played since round two last year when he injured his right angle while playing for GWS, while Wingard's pre-season has been disrupted by calf issues. What kind of calves? Are we talking Herefords or <laughs> Jersey calves? Calves that are connected to his legs, Lawrence. Thank you, Nat. Just wanted to clear. Let's move right along. The Tasmanian government is rallying corporate supporters to help establish its own AFL club by 2026. The plan would see Hawthorne and Kangaroos leave the state. According to The Age, the AFL has privately endorsed the project but says Tasmania needs at least 50,000 members and $40 million. Nat, is there any truth that the Tasmanian teams will be recruiting under the brother-father-son rule? <laughs> You are so much better than that, Lawrence. You're better than that. You are so much better than that. OK, let's move along. The violent brawl after last night's match at the MCG is believed to have been triggered by a disagreement over a free kick. A witness described seeing two group groups in a heated verbal exchange after Richmond forward Tom Lynch was given a free kick in the last quarter. Police are still determining whether to lay charges. Do you remember when we went to the oh. footy together, Nat, and you coward punched that woman from Fitzroy? <laughs> it was a slap, Lawrence. It was a slap. <laughs> and Richmond... <laughs> Richmond has confirmed that Alex Rance will miss the remainder of the 2019 season after rupturing his anterior cruciate ligament in last night's 33-point win over Carlton. The 29-year-old is expected to have surgery to repair the damaged knee in the coming days. Anything? Natty? No. Natty, this is uh, related to the AFL-X. I heard that uh, an exciting new change for next season... Uh, they're replacing the traditional football with a roast chicken. Confirm? I'm not sure what that has to do with anything, but Dino, if you want to think about roast chicken while you're watching the football, then that is fine. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, and that, <laughs> with all our AFL news, Nat Yanidis and, and the Rance in just injury. Obviously, Alex Rance. Oh, it's heartbreaking. A heartbreaking, yes. He's, uh, I don't think Richmond can win the Premiership uh, now uh, without Alex Rance. He's a fantastic defender, five time All Australian. He's a great player. By the way, Nat wasn't happy about your Tasmanian gag. No. Is she a fellow two head, is she? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, born and bred in Melbourne, good Bomber supporter. Um, I believe that a premiership side is built around the fullback. Uh, yeah. You look at your great side. Uh, uh, no, that it's not built around fullbacks, Lawrence. Oh, it is built around the uh, fullbacks. I wouldn't have thought so. I'm trying yeah, to sound insightful and like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> they, they are all failed forwards. That's why they end up in the back line. Really? Yeah. Where the forwards turn. You don't the dream about being a fullback. You wake up and you go, Mum, I want to be a fullback. We tick the turnstiles over. Right. Take the turnstiles you... over, and then if they fail as a four, they get sent down the back. Now, heartbreaking indeed. Let's have a look at uh, him getting some sympathy from some teammates and some being not so sympathetic. Presty here. Oh, man, I am <laughs> um, Yeah, well, I did my ACL out there. Yeah, I know, but I'm going to take my mouth guard out. <laughs> Jeez. Not a lot of sympathy well, there for the leg. It's a pretty brutal world, actually. You know, we learned this from uh, my great coach, Lee Matthews, that if you were injured or you weren't in the 22, Lee didn't give you much love. You walked right. past him in the corridor and uh, <laughs> he wouldn't even recognise you. Hello, what, even see uh, you. what's your name? Jonathan, isn't it? That's right. That's yeah, right. yeah so he'd just keep, well, keep walking and uh, eventually he'd start talking to you if you're in his side. Otherwise, he didn't want to know because he can't help, you can't help him. That, right. was, his, that was his philosophy. Jonathan, can you do the Lethal Matthews voice on TV for us? Um, what's the time? Uh, He'll be in bed by now, aren't he? <laughs> <laughs> now, now, of course, John, I, I, I wait out ten I, times you could do this. Brownie! Thing. Brownie! <laughs> lethal, uh, everyone! <laughs> He's going to kill me. Apparently, he's going to kill me for that. You made a prediction on the on the couch during the week yep. that uh, Tom Lynch and Jack Rewalt will be one and two in yes. the Coleman medal. Now, last night, uh, that played out. Good start, Tommy wasn't Lynch it, Lawrence? Yeah. Three. I think that was his second goal. Yeah, uh, Jack Rewald took out about four blokes in the first contest for uh, Tommy Lynch <laughs> to mark. And now, probably should have been a free kick, but got Tommy away. And uh, he probably could end up with five or six goals. Jack oh. kicked Ooh. the one goal. This is his one goal for the night. But uh, that'll be a formidable 
combination. They'll need to be now with Rance gone for the season. Yeah, so the balance um, the I think they're probably going to have to kick 120, 130 goals between them. But it's a fantastic pickup, and uh, obviously Tom Lynch. He would never experience anything like that, playing in front of 90,000, 85,000 there last yeah. night. He would actually thought, this is what it's like to play real What's AFL that footy. It's What's a that crowd, Tom. <laughs> it's people come to watch the footy. We're not at Metricon anymore. So. Now, how do you conjure up your predictions? Have you got something that you rub or do you, do you go... <laughs> Do you look inside your third eye? Is it something that comes to you in your sleep? Where, where do your predictions come from? I, I, I tend to lean on the uh, the youngest daughter, Mimi, uh, right. her name is, and uh, after she she tipped me the winner at the last on Derby Day uh, because it had pink silks, and uh, right. I put her whole um, year's school tuition fees on it, and uh, now she's upgraded to a better private school. That's uh, great. So I'm stuck with Mimi. So she's, so got she's the gifted one. She's okay. the gifted one. She's because the predictor. When it comes to predictions here mm. on Up the Guts, there's only one voice we like to hear, the greatest mind in the history of the football, uh, the Oracle, a.k.a. the Screaming 8-Ball, Dino. If yes. you could please bring the magical bust forward. Oh, yes. Uh, the tr that speaks only the truth, so we can lay our hands on the bust. Come on, Ron. And summon up Ronnie Barassi. Ronald Easy, Ron. Dale Barassi. Stay calm, Ron. Oh, good. Now, I don't know whether you're much... Oh, easy there. Are you a spiritual man, Brownie? Not really. Well, I, I want you to, so. to give over. Just place a hand on Ronald Dale. If we could, uh, please, put a hand on him. OK, if we could have the lights lowered, please, now. Are you there, Ron? Ronald Dale? Ronald Dale Barassi? Shut up! <laughs> he lives just around the corner, so you probably heard me for real. Ron, what, what do you think of Alex Rance's knee injury? Bloody weak as piss. It's harsh. Ron, he's, he's ruptured yeah. an ACL. He's going to miss the season. That's bloody right! Brownie, uh, would you Br like to ask? Brownie here, Ron. Uh, moving forward, how do you think the AFL could expand the game internationally? Good question. We've got to do something to try and make football look a bit better. Right. How do you reckon we should make it look a bit better? Uh, maybe get that guy that showed his ass behind Eddie's ear. Yeah. <laughs> we need more of that, I think. <laughs> more mooning at the footy. Ron, how about we put a paper bag over Lingy's head? <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> The pink pig. The big pink pig. <laughs> Ron, come in. My sweet Ron, it's Dino. I reckon Gold Coast and St Kilda will play off in the granny. Toby Green will go a year without punching someone in the throat. And NRL players will stop filming themselves having sex. What do you think, Ron? And for all that to happen, there's got to be something really bloody wrong. Right. Anything else for, for Ron, Ron Browning? Now, yeah, Ronnie. I'm on a show called On the Couch, hosted by Jared Healy. What do you think of the lineup? Would you make any changes? Healy off, Allingworth on! <laughs> hey, Ron, I heard you had a, a pet parrot at home. Uh, do you mind if I come over and poke it with a stick? Hmm, not sure Polly would like that. <laughs> That's all we've got time for, Ron. Did you enjoy your time on Up the Guts? I've had a lot of fun doing this. Great stuff. Sounds like you're being a little sarcastic, <laughs> Ron. That's bloody right! <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, rolled over us. Uh, see, once you open yourself up to it, oh, Brownie, it just flows through. Now, uh, it's time for a break, but first, if you need to catch up on anything on Fox Footy, you can do it right here on Up The Guts. And uh, this bit from AFL 360 this week was my favourite exchange. Catch up with Up The Guts. It's crap. I'm telling you, mate, you got no fan mail, all right? I mean, one mail was sent in, but that was for me. Oh, not for you. Bullshit, I did so get fan mail. I'm not bullshitting. You got no fan mail. You OK, mate? Oh, it's just ridiculous. Not even from my mum. She sent me fan mail and 48 bucks. So you got fan mail and 48 bucks from my mum? I got nothing. <laughs> Happy? Tubby? Shit. Hey, welcome to the spiciest footy show on the internet. Franco Cozzo, my best friend and show announcer, 
introduce our first guest through song. I miss the bright side. Yes! 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 He's the best. He's Love the best. Franco. Yes! Love you. Yes! 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 Franco, Jackie won the Coleman. Hi, Dino! <laughs> How many All Australian jackets do you have now? One, but it's got three ridings on it. Oh, so do you like my Crash Bandicoot shirt? Yes! Where'd you get that? Internet. <laughs> Welcome back, Jack. I've been a dog. What have you done? I used to drink cask wine with my family and say the meanest things about you at the TV. That's OK, mate. All of us have low points, I think, Dino. I'm sorry. Like the time. Do you remember when Carl dogged Susan on Neighbours? <laughs> Carl? Dr Carl. She he dogged Susan. I'm a furious. <laughs> the Carl dog Susan. If you're going to dog someone and you don't dog Susan. Yeah. It was 20 years ago. <laughs> Get out of it, Carl! You're a dog, Carl. You're a dog! <laughs> That's all we've got time for. <laughs> Who could beat you this year? One team. Why are Cheezels round? For the ring thing, I think. Yeah. Well done on your own footy show, which will hey. become a part of Up The Guts. A footy show within a footy show. Mm. And I still can't believe that yeah. Dr Carl dogged Is it, oh, no. is it cheating dog? dog. Cheating dog. Uh, the big one, though, is how did he get Franco Cotto over the line to go on the footy show? <laughs> I'll say this. Franco Cotto is the most electric talent in television. <laughs> Isn't yes. it amazing? Yes. That, uh, can we make any announcements <laughs> re-Cotto? Or uh, is that still in negotiations? Well, actually, just... Yep, Rupert Murdoch said we can announce it. Franco Cozzo has signed on for the yeah. entire year, everyone. Yeah. Yes. Cozzo! He's that a late, unbelievable. Uh, late maturer. Excellent. Late maturer, Franco. <laughs> Got nice to have him back. Wait, hold on. Is that someone tapping at the window? It's time for the play school part of the show, everyone. <laughs> we go to the window. Here we go. All right. Who's there? Oh, it's, it's Ben Stratton, Hawthorne captain. Hey, Ben. Moo Man, love the show, mate. Oh, thanks a lot. What's it, uh, what's it called again? It's called Up the Guts. Yeah, what time's it on? It's on now. You, you're on. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful, Benny. Yes. Get out of my gun. <laughs> a very relaxed individual, oh, Benny. He's, he's a unit. <laughs> New Beautiful. Hawthorne captain, too. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Let's take a look at the other games that are coming up this weekend. On Saturday, it's Demons v Port Power at the MCG, or as we call it, Brownie, the Morton Laid Cup after this incident in round three, 2009. So there's Lady gives Morton one. Morton goes, I'm going to take this on. Well, no, it's a big yeah. one. It's a biggie. <laughs> it's a big one. She's out of his weight category there. Absolutely. I think, eh? I think he actually summed it up very quickly. I was going, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. I've got to run away from that. How would you have dealt with that? Uh, one straight down the pipe, I reckon. That <laughs> <laughs> no, lady, uh, he's a big softy lady. Yeah, that's exactly how my mum used to deal with it too. Straight down the pipe. Get to bed. <laughs> Crows v Hawks at the Adelaide Oval. Bulldogs and the Swans at Marvel Stadium. Yep. Lions and the Eagles at the Gabba. Who's going to win there, Brownie? Ah, uh, the Mighty Lions will definitely win against... No, incorrect, John. Sorry. <laughs> on Sunday, Saints versus Suns at Marvel Stadium. And then the Giants take on the Bombers at the Sydney Showground oh, Stadium. Oh, boys. How are they going to go? The well, Bombers. I'm a bit nervous about this, but we have got uh, the GWS midfield, so they're going to probably miss that. <laughs> <laughs> and Dockers versus Kangas at Optus Stadium. So that'll be a great game. What, what game are you looking forward to watching? That? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, of course it's on Fox Footy. Yeah, yeah. magnificent. <laughs> there's there's a lot of footy on. What's the game that you're having a close look at this week? Well, I'm doing uh, Melbourne Port Adelaide tomorrow. I'm going to the the ground there, and I actually uh, I don't have to commentate on the pre and post game with, with uh, the lovely Sarah Jones because uh, I've had to swap with Dermy because. Uh, 
Dermy's in a cricket grand final tomorrow. So is he? I got the emergency who's call. He, who's uh, he hitting for? He, he plays down Frankston Way in the okay. fourth. Seaford. Uh, I was, doing, uh, I was doing St Kilda Gold Coast, the blockbuster at Marvel Stadium on Sunday. Uh, so Can you pr- <laughs> please stop being sarcastic about the product? <laughs> <laughs> We're all trying, trying to educate children, Brownie. That's right, yeah, too. we are on Fox Footy. Now, of course, uh, so that'll be a great game. Melbourne, Port Adelaide tomorrow, they've got a few debutantes, but I think Melbourne a big chance to win the flag this year, Lawrence. Really? Go yeah, that extra yeah. step? I think they could. The preliminary final last year, blown away by Dino's boys, but they've got a lot of talent, a lot of talent. Clayton Oliver, Gary Lyon said last week, Sensational player. Clayton Oliver is the best midfielder Melbourne's ever had. And they've had Ron Barassi. Best midfielder he's ever had. Yeah. They've also had Ellingworth, not to yeah, be sneezed at. He was a great player. Absolutely. Great to be back. Full oh. seasons up and away, yeah, up is. the guts. Thanks so much for being a part of our Thanks. first episode. Great to be back. And there's a tradition in the Mooney household. When the footy season starts, we always put on the Fable Singers and we play this song Maestro, please. Join on in if you know the words. When the football season comes around again, fans are swarming to the grounds again. There's a kind of fever that keeps you on your toes. If the fans are roaring, as the whistle blows, the whole world's pouring and your team's behind. You know you never throw in the line. Because it's football season, and that's the reason it's the time of the year that we love. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to Jonathan Brown for being our first guest on Up the Guts. Dino, he'll be back every week with Dino's Woody Show. Thank you to the crew, and to you, the audience, and to you at home. Stick around for the replay, and if you're in doubt,